All right, today we're going to reload this new, to me, uh, Aerotech 29 millimeter. It's the 2940 to 120 reloadable case. I have a G76 uh, Mojave Green motor that we're going to load in here. This is these loading instructions are virtually identical to the 24 millimeter case. Uh, it's just a bigger case, and uh, we got two grains here instead of one. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I like to do is to grease the case with uh, super lube. I just get a little bit on my finger and I make sure I get the threads on here really good. I want a good seal there and I want to be able to get this off. And then I actually go ahead and put a little grease and kind of smear it down the inside here. Makes it a lot easier to extract all the burnt parts after the launch. Need to grease these O-rings as well. There's three of them. And uh, you just want to get enough grease on there to make them shiny. You don't want them to be goopy or clumps of grease on there. Just massage it in. Make sure that it's all uh, applied evenly. Again, no clumps. Perfect. Okay, let me just dry off fingers here. Okay. So, the first thing we need to do is to prepare the delay. This has a seven second delay, which is just about right for my simulation for a North Coast rocketry bounty hunter that uh, we have named Orion. So I take the actual delay grain and insert it into the insulator. And then there's a small spacer that goes in as well and seals that all in nicely. And always, always, always have your instructions handy so you can refer to them frequently and often. Um, even though, you know, if you've done this uh, many, many times, just have them out so that you can refer in case you have any questions. I want to take the smallest O-ring. Oh, one other thing I was going to do. I was going to put a little grease inside this forward uh, piece here. And I don't want to put grease in the very bottom where the powder goes, just along the sides. This just helps me to extract the delay after launch. So again, don't get grease all the way to the bottom, just along the, the sides of this forward end. And then I'm going to put the smallest O-ring in there, make sure it's flat. And the delay will go in. I did not have to drill a delay on this. If I did, the dimple that I drilled would be away from the forward end, it'd be facing aft. And I have an insulator um, that will fit in snugly. And then there's this uh, little adapter that creates space. And you wanna make sure that that is facing away from where the powder will be as well. So you just insert that and that's done. Now we've got the actual uh, grains themselves. We've got two grains in here. They've got the slit cut for the igniter, and this says to, uh, to, to use gloves, or they, they strongly recommend gloves. I'm just going to be careful not to touch the propellant, if, I, if at all possible. We need to tape these grains together. They recommend using some clear scotch tape. Um, I'm going to just use a little masking tape. It's just so that they don't twist and rotate on each other. You want them nice and, and lined up. So you've got that, that groove there nicely lined up or as close as you can. It's, it is rocket science, but it's not rocket science. There we go. Now these will go into the insulator. And if they don't want to go in, you can take your thumbnail and chamfer this inside here. When it cuts, it cuts down and crimps it. So that just opens it up so that your delay can slide in there and see even with the masking tape it slides in just fine okay so now we need to assemble the rest of this so this will now go into the uh, the case you take your um, insulator disc that goes in and then 
uh, one of the, the O-rings will go in as well. And then this uh, delay will screw in. And I don't screw it down tightly because I still need to put the nozzle in. So then the nozzle will fit on here and push in. And then it gets an O-ring. And then this tightens over it. And now I will tighten this down snug and then I will tighten the top the rest of the way and the case is loaded and ready to go and again just make sure that you're following the instructions the instructions will explain how to assemble the delay um, to tape the liner where everything goes um, and then uh, where to put the the rings this talks about using a copperhead igniter I don't think Aerotech even even makes those anymore um, but anyway, is what it is. So all that's left to do is the ejection charge, and it's the black powder, the 4F black powder in this small little red cap. So you want the powder in the smaller cap. And then I tip this upside down, press it on till it pops, turn it upside down, give it a little shake. Powder's evenly distributed. We are ready for launch. We're going to launch this tomorrow, and uh, hopefully it works well. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions or comments or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you.